Each supported substrate has its own characteristics. The substrate preset contains ICC color profiles and information about other printing characteristics, such as curing temperature not directly related to color. If you use a substrate for which the printer has no specific preset installed, you have various options to obtain one. This video shows you how to search for and install new substrate presets in the HP Latex 300 series printers. You can easily find and install new substrate presets using the front panel. This process can only be used if the printer is web connected. If necessary, configure the printer's web connection first. Press the substrate library icon on the main menu of the printer's front panel. Then press the online search button. You can browse the available presets by brand, substrate category, substrate name or application. Alternatively, you can free text search in description, brand, property or application. Once you have found the preset that you want, you can download and install it by pressing the download button. If you cannot find a specific preset for the substrate, then follow the steps explained in the next section of this video. Make sure to check back periodically because the list of available presets is updated frequently. If your printer is not web connected, then you can search for and install substrate presets from a computer. First, you must look for the substrate preset package file. You can find new substrate presets and download them from the HP Media Locator web page. On your computer, open the web browser of your choice. Type www.hp.com forward slash go forward slash media solutions locator into the browser's address bar and then press enter on your keyboard. Select your country from the top right corner menu. Choose your country and language from the list. Choose your printer from the device model selection drop down list. Choose your substrate brand from the supplier selection drop down list. Choose your substrate type from the substrate type selection drop down list. Locate your substrate in the list and click the plus symbol to get the details. Click the view link. Locate your printer in the list and click the link to download the substrate preset package. Depending on your web browser, a prompt may open that asks you what you want to do with the file. If you click save, a file with extension OMS will be downloaded to a folder you specify on your computer. If there is no specific profile available from your substrate at the HP Media Locator web page, you can try to obtain it from different sources like the substrate vendor on your software RIPS website. If you can't find a specific profile for your substrate, you can use one of the generic substrate profiles already installed on your printer and available from most software RIPS. Or, you can generate a specific substrate profile using your printer by following a quick and simple process. You can find the details about this process in the user's guide and in other available videos. You can send the substrate preset package to the printer from a computer if they are connected to the same local area network. First take note of the printer's IP address by pressing the networking icon on the front panel. Type the printer's IP address into a browser's address bar and then press enter on your keyboard. The printer's embedded web server will be shown in the browser window. Click the setup tab. Click substrate presets management. Click import. This tab is normally selected by default. Use the browser button to open a file explorer. Select the substrate preset package file. It is a file with the extension OMS. Click open. Click update. Follow the instructions from the embedded web server. As a security check, if the package has not been generated by HP, you may need to accept saving it on the printer from the printer's front panel. The new substrate preset has now been installed on the printer. To see and use it from your software RIP, you may need to synchronize the printer and the RIP. This process is automatic when using certain RIP brands, but it must be launched manually in other cases. You can find details about this process in the user's guide and in other available videos. You can find additional helpful videos at www.hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash hp support advanced.